Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Charlene, I am the owner of Nora Sense and for those who are new here, I make videos on how to make wax melts, candles and reed diffusers. And for those who are returning, welcome back and thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. So today's video is about making wax melts. So I've received a customised order for a travel company. This travel company is taking their clients away on holiday and as part of their package, um, they are to receive some freebies. And one of those freebies being wax melts. So this is the first time I've taken a customised order for wax melts. So bear with me. I want to talk you through my thought process or at least show you, you know, how I come up with the design, um, how I'm going to come up with the labelling, how I'm going to package. And yeah, I, it's going to be a video that we're just going to, wing it and see if it works if it does great if it doesn't then it has to work so we'll find a way of making it work um but i thought i'll take you along on the journey with me so let's get into it enjoy so first things first i just wanted to show you sort of what we currently use for wax melts so they are these bags um standable pouches or pouches that can stand up um, and at the moment this is what we're currently using so it's got the name it's got you know what's inside it's got the branding on it it's got how many grams and what it is and where it was made so that's all on the front on the back it also needs to have a CLP label so this is just a, a safety label just to let the customers know the ingredients that are inside and what the possible allergens could be so these are the ones that I specifically use for candles these are the warning labels that need to go on every single candle um, it has the name of the fragrance it has a warning sign it tells you you know it gives you the ingredients what effects it might have what to do if it does get on the skin um, some safety measures here some symbols and then also contact information should they need to contact you so something similar will need to go on the back of wax melts so yeah so this is what we currently use and this is what I have I have loads of these I also have this that I was going to trial but I don't think I'm going to use this I think I'm going to stick with this just because it's in line with branding um, I have loads of these and what I'm thinking is um, I might do like a you know on the, the bottom of a or in a multi selection chocolate box you have multiple flavours of chocolate but in order to know what chocolate you want you sort of have a look at the chocolate it gives a brief description of what's inside um, and you'll be you're able to differentiate the chocolates by the shape or the size or you know the topping that it's got on top I think I want to do something like this for my wax melts now I'm wondering do I go by color do I go by I think the size and the shape will have to remain the same because I'm using one type of mold so I think to differentiate between the scents I'm gonna go for color so now I need to figure out what scents I'm gonna be using um, or putting into this multi-selection wax melt bag Across for you. Oh, I didn't mean to do. 
Okay, so just so you know, these are the wax melts that we're gonna be doing. So if you look closely, so if you look closely, you'll be able to see it does have my logo on there. So this is what we're, we're gonna aim for. So we've already got mango and oud, which is good. Um, I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 in there. So that's perfect. Um, so that's one down. I just need to label that so you know what that is. Um, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five. I do love this. Now this is Snow Queen and I haven't tested this yet. So you can't smell it, sorry. <laughs> so I think we just need 10 grams of each. This should be okay. To be able to make the desired amount. So for these ones, I will go in at 10% fragrance oil. Now, you do have to check online to make sure that each of these fragrances you can use at 10% um, load to the wax. So each will have their own data safety sheet that comes with each scent. You do have to check the safety sheet to make sure that you can use these up to a certain percentage within your whether it's your candles your your wax melts and your reed diffusers so i'll show you how i'm going to check the safety data sheet for each of these scents so if we choose let's say fireside There we go. Okay, so this is the, let me just zoom you in a bit more. This is for fire, fireside. So it tells you a little bit about, you know, what the notes are. So your top notes, your heart notes, and your base notes. And then it obviously comes in different grams. And then you go, if you scroll down, it will tell you. So please be advised that this the old oil so not this one that they're selling currently but the if you bought it previously um it can't be used in reed diffusers that above 9.6 percent um so the new modification is now available this can be used in all home fragrance products including reed diffusers at 20 percent so you need to have a look at this file which is here And obviously it's got the old modification details within this file here, but we're not looking at that. So what we're looking for is the IFRA. IFRA, here we go. That's what you're looking for. The, the IFRA 50 certificate for Fireside. So here it will tell you how much you can use in your wax melts. So we're just gonna scroll down. So here are the categories and the maximum level of use within each category. So, for example, category one applies to lipsticks and lip pro products. If we go to category one, it's not approved in any of those. Okay, so for wax melts, yeah, I would probably put it in this one here, candles of all types. So we're going to go for IFRA category 12. So if it's category 12, so it's unlimited, but we don't really want to be using a lot of our scent in there. So I'm going to write down in my notepad here that Fireside, we can do up to, I'm going to do 10%. Okay, and then let's do the same for gingerbread. And again, IFRA certificate. It will probably be IFRA 12 next to candles and um, again, if we have a look here where it says not limited, so I'm going to put that at 10% and then festive berries. I wish that I could
So our current wax melts labels look like this. Um, so this size is a what say it's seventy five by a hundred and five. So we're going to need to make a front cover. So we're going to need to make a cover that goes on the front of our wax melt and then we're going to need to make sort of like a chocolate box card that goes on either that goes on the other side which is our warning label um so first things first i need to figure out the colors looking at this basically we my idea is you have the name, then you have the um, chemical name for it, then you have what it contains. That information, as well as um, the batch number, all that information should go under that heading Cuba Oak. In terms of like the symbols and the safety information and the contact details, that can all go at the bottom of the card because it it will be the same for each for most of them all of them will have this some of them will have this some of them won't have this so i need to split it but the thing is i need to type it all out so this is going to take longer than i bloody thought but we should just probably just get on to it to be honest What's really good about using the Candle Shack website is that they have their own CLP label design tool, um, but only for the fragrances that they sell. They sell, so it was quite easy to go onto their website, find the fragrance oil that I use, and be able to find the chemical name and all the information that needed to go on my CLP label for the fragrances that I was using. So that's what I'm doing here in the video. Then I quite quickly realised that I wasn't going to be able to fit all nine of the fragrances on the card, including all of the information that needed to go on the bottom. So I decided to only include six scents in each package, which meant that um, only six fragrances would go on the back of each card. So that's what I'm doing here. <laughs>
I also decided to make another card that had the top notes, middle notes and base notes of each scent so that the customers would know, you know, what they were smelling in each fragrance. It's all good having, you know, the safety information on there, which nobody hardly reads, but it's a legal requirement in the UK. They're more interested in the scents and the notes that are in, you know, their wax melt. So I thought that'd be a good idea. Good morning guys, so it's actually the next day, um, I had to stop filming because it was just becoming too long, um, but I thought what I'd do is, so I finished everything off with camera, but I thought what I'll do is I'll come on here this morning and just go through what I was managed, what I managed to complete yesterday. In terms of um, the labelling, that's all done now, so if I go ahead and show you. So this is what's going to go on on the front of the wax melt packaging. So if I get uh, a spare packaging, so this is what's going to go on the front. So as you can see, it's got the travel company's logo, but it's also got my logo as well. Um, it's also got um, what the, the wax melts are made from, hand poured in London, and the amount that's going to be in each pack. So that's going to go on the front on the front of the packaging. Now on the back of the packaging, um, I managed. Do you remember I was trying to sort of figure out how are we going to put do a multi pack but put all the warning information on the back? So I decided that um, rather than giving people nine, just because I couldn't fit nine circles on there, I thought I would mix the packs up. Um, so I'll just show you. So if you have a look here, um, this is what will go on each package. Now three people will get this one, three people will get this one, and three people will get this one. Um, so yeah, so basically it's got the name of the fragrance, or the chemical name of the fragrance oil, and then it's got the warning information and allergies and what to do if it gets on skin and eyes and, and who to contact, um, and obviously our two warning symbols. So that is going on the back of each packaging like that so these are all stickers they've all been laminated and they're all ready to go so i thought i'd put, come on this morning i just show you that also i managed to do um these cards now these cards i'm going to cut them out and they are, I think I'm going to laminate them, I'm not sure, but they're going to go into one of these black envelopes. So as you can see, they will fit into one black envelope, um, along with um, my business card, which I haven't actually made yet, <laughs> and also a wax melt care card. Um, so as you can see, one of those will go into there once it's cut out. So I just thought I'd show you. So I had this made from previously. Um, so this would go out with all wax melt, um, wax melts. And um, this, because I thought, you know, it's all good having, you know, the chemical name and, you know, all the information that we need on the back of um, a wax melt package. But people actually want to know what it is. So it's all good having the word Cuban oak or rose and amber, but what, what is it? What are the notes? So I decided to um, just make a little document that's got the top notes, heart notes and base notes of, of each one. Now I think you might have seen me doing this on camera, but this is the finished product. So these two um, things will go into the envelope along with a business card and maybe stickers, but I haven't made them yet. So we shall see. 
also this morning I've just been trying to figure out how we're going to package each wax melt individually so the idea is that they will get one of each scent and it will go into one of these bags like this but obviously we can't have the wax melts touching because they're different chemicals and that's what we have to remember that's why I need to figure out how to wrap them individually so I did buy some shrink wrap which has worked here but you have to be careful as not to melt the wax melt when you apply heat to the shrink wrap um, but if you heat it up if you fold it all in on one side and heat it up on the thicker side then it should be fine and then I was thinking maybe after I've shrink wrapped it to then add a little bit of tissue paper over the top just to make it a little bit more pretty and then go in and add a a sort of a sticker on top with the logo now I'm not sure if this is how I'm going to do it but these are just ideas um, I could actually just leave it like this and pop a sticker on top like that I'm not sure so we shall see. We'll, we'll figure that out when we get to that part so that's it guys um I think let's get on and make some wax melts
it's been three days I think since we started making the wax melt and this is the final day so as you would have seen in the video our wax melts have been made we've made all the documentation all the labels and this section of the video is just putting all of that together so let me start by showing you actually um, what I've done so far so far we have made the care cards now I showed you this before so each person will get one of these and we also made the selection card each person will get one of these but not every person will have all of the nine cents so I'll only have six so we've got those those cards that I just show you would go will go in one of these envelopes like so in each envelope will also have a business card and then on the packaging which will be one of these we'll have um, this at the front and then one of these at the back There we are. So each person will get six of one of the cents and they will match the card that is on the back of their wax melt packaging. So first things first, I think we need to go and shrink wrap these and put a label on them. Now in terms of labeling, I was thinking I could after I shrink wrap them, just put one of these on on the top on the top. Um, but I sh I'll see. So let's go ahead and do that. I also want to put some stickers in the envelope, um, but I haven't made them yet. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to put the care cards and the selection cards and the um, business cards into their envelopes. And if we've still got time to do stickers, then we'll do stickers. So let's get started.
first multi selection package. Um, we've got from our signature scents um, Cuban oak and mango oud. So let's go and get uh, Cuban oak. There we go. And mango oud. Then we've got festive berries and snowberry from our Christmas range. So festive berries and snow fairy and from our exclusive range we have jasmine wood jasmine woods and pear and fuchsia Well guys, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it or learned something from it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.